All right, China, let's talk. The recent manipulation spree has caused a lot of stuff to happen all over the marketplace, especially on Buff, but one of the most interesting things has actually been happening with Katowice 2014 specifically, and this video is going to be talking about that. The sponsor for today's video is SkinWallet.com. They're a great marketplace to use to get cash for your skins instantly, or if you want to go ahead and sell on their marketplace. They have a 100% secure and monitor transactions. They have a great support team, and they have a large marketplace that you can use to get skins a lot cheaper than you would on Steam. So if you want to go ahead and check out SkinWallet.com, be sure use the link in the description below. Thanks. Alright, to start off this video on Katowice 2014 items, I think it's most important to start with one of the most intriguing things that's happening right now, and that's with the Reason Hollow. The Reason Hollow has always been pretty low in supply, and has also been a pretty in-demand Kato sticker. It looks really nice, it has a really good color palette, a really good hollow effect, it's just one of the better Kato hollows for sure, and definitely one of the main desirable ones. Now, while Iba Power and Titan have kind of held the highest price point for a very long time now, the Reason Hollow has actually been kind of creeping up over the last couple of years. And right now, the Reason Hollow has really come to the spotlight because of something very interesting that we don't really see in CSGO and have really never seen any time before, and that is Extinction. Now, obviously, Extinction in any market is really crazy because it's the absolute highest level of scarcity when the item just totally doesn't exist at all anymore. Now, CSGO and stuff like this, obviously, Extinction is never going to fully happen because an unapplied Reason Hollow is basically always going to exist, even if every capsule is opened. There will at least be one because people are not going to want to sell the very last one or apply the very last one, unless they're a complete maniac. It's basic supply and demand, obviously the more rare an item gets, the more its value increases. Now we see in CSGO, we have one of one crafts. These are very rare items, obviously they only exist in one form, and they go for very astronomically high sticker percentages because they're so desirable in their one of one form, because they're a totally unique craft that no one else owns. Now even if the Reason Hollow were to completely disappear from the surface market in a crazy event, obviously there would still be some private inventories that owned Reason Hollows or don't even know that they own Reason Hollows, which would mean that it's never going to truly go fully extinct. And it's impossible for an item like this to go fully extinct because no one is going to get rid of the last one. That doesn't make any sense from an economic standpoint. And of course, more on the technical side, we do have crafted items that have Reason Hollows on them. Those are never going to truly go extinct as well because, you know, obviously some of those are owned by people who don't play the game anymore, and a whole bunch of different random factors like that that are basically going to prevent the Reason Hollow from going completely out of existence. However, the unapplied Reason Hollow is very very close to extinction. It's probably the closest an item has ever gotten to extinction since the beginning of CSGO. Now if we go ahead and check out the supply of Reason Hollows on the overall marketplace, we can start by looking at Steam, which we all know obviously there's no Reason Hollows on Steam because they're way past the price limit of a sell order, but on third party marketplaces like Buff for example, we actually do see that there is one Reason Hollow being sold on Buff. Now this could just be because other people are not interested in selling their Reason Hollows on Buff, but if we look at the overall Cato 14 market, it seems that most people choose Buff to sell their Cato 14 underplayed stick so clearly it's going to be the best place to go to look for something like this. And if there's only one of them actually being sold on buff at the moment, that means these are basically completely gone. So how did this happen exactly? Well, if we look at the trade records of Reason Hollows, we can see that in May and late April, there were actually three sales of the Reason Hollow, which is pretty crazy considering at the beginning of the year all the way up until April, there were actually no sales all the way since August of 2020. It's quite weird when a Cato 14 sticker, especially one that's already so naturally expensive, as this it goes from something with no sales since August of 2020 all the way up to having four sales in the span of only a month. When this amount of sales happens on an item that's already so low in supply, we're going to see the market completely evaporate for it in terms of how many exist, and that's why there's only one being listed on buff of all places, which is the most popular place to list Cato items. Now the implications of this could be pretty serious, but we're not going to know for a while anyway because there are still private inventories owning Reason Hollows, and there are still, of course, capsules that haven't been opened that could contain Reason Hollows as well. So while the supply of it does look very low right now, that might not be permanent and there could be more that come to the market in the future. However, the implications overall for the long term of Cato 14 items could be pretty interesting. If we look at the current supply data for Cato 14 hollows provided to us by the lovely Cantry, we do see that the Reason Hollow is extremely low in supply and there's only a little over 50 of them that are currently tradable. In terms of rarity, it's in second place right now right behind the I buy Power Hollow and only by one that is currently tradable in existence. So very rare sticker and definitely 
definitely very close to that extinction tier that it could be at. Now the other crazy Cato 14 event that occurred over the past couple of weeks and into the future few weeks here is going to be the non hollows having a whole ton of all-time highs and some of them even going higher than their hollow counterparts. Now the hollows did sell quite a lot. Obviously the hollows were gaining hype because of the general Cato 14 hype that occurred on buff and there were more sales than we usually do see for a lot of the hollows but the non hollows are what really shined. A lot of the non hollows sold for crazy value. The reason non hollow for example sold for 15,000 RMB which is just crazy that's way higher than it usually sells for. There were some stupid all-time highs on the Dignitas non hollow Cato 14 and some stupid all-time highs on the Virtus Pro non hollow Cato 14. A lot of crazy sales that really don't make a lot of sense and definitely do lend more towards the idea of manipulation. Now regardless if this was manipulation or not this is still good for the overall sticker market and the overall market of CSGO in general because Cato 14 items are a very good placeholder for some of the rarest and most desirable stickers in the game. So you kind of just go off of that. So you start with Cato 14 being the most desirable and most rare and then you obviously trickle down into other years like Boston 2018 for example is a pretty desirable good looking sticker. You sort of have to base it off the tether of Cato 14 items. So when you see these items going ballistic in price that means that the overall market has a new cap that it can go to. Think of Cato 14 stickers like the pioneers of the sticker market. The higher that they can go the higher other stickers from other years can go. So probably the main question now is how do you invest in this? How do you take hold of this crazy hype and these crazy new all-time highs and how do you transfer all of this new data into profit for yourself? Well obviously if you look at my previous video I talked a lot about stickers that are going to be really good with regard to this recent manipulation in the markets and also with the regard to the recent Cato 14 price changes. That video is going to be more in depth and it's going to give you a better idea of how to process and make profit off of events like this but a quick rundown is going to be look at stuff like Dreamhack 2014, look at Cologne 2016 Dignitas stickers and mainly look at Cato 15 as well. That one's also going up in price and has a very good price trend and if you want you can also look into Cologne 2014 but I'd recommend the other ones more than that. Obviously there's still going to be some uncertainties with anything like this and there is going to be the Stockholm Major and Armar 2021 which could release some new stickers that could rival Cato 14 if Valve decides to make some insane designs. I don't think that's going to happen but it is something to be wary of in case it does. Obviously Armar 2020 had some really nice looking stickers and it was really unexpected after previous years like Berlin so seeing those new stickers was a pretty interesting thing. However if you're sticking to older stickers the only thing you have to be worried about is if the new stickers rival stuff like Cato 14 but again that probably won't happen so you're safe to look at older stickers like Cologne 14, Dreamhack 2014, and the other ones that I mentioned. I would definitely recommend getting in now. In fact, if you listened to my calls from just the previous week, you would have already made a solid 30% return or so on the stuff that I talked about. So I definitely recommend looking at some of the stuff right now if you have the option to do so. And other than that, that's pretty much all there is to say about this new Cato event. There were a lot of all-time highs with non-hollows, and there was, of course, the crazy Reason Hollow that is getting close to its extinction and a very rare sticker, of course. To use terms from regular investing, it does look like the market for Cato 14 items is going to the moon right now. So if you want to go ahead and look into them a bit more deeply, hopefully this video inspires you to do so because I think it's a great place to go right now. Anyway, that's about going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out and thank you so much to China for allowing this gigantic manipulation to happen. If you guys want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel for the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube in terms of CSGO. And of course, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you with any of your confusion that you might have had about these events. And be sure to check out Skin Wallet, my Discord, and my Twitter links in the description below. See you guys next time. Peace. Also, by the way, thanks for 5,000 members. We did a quick little giveaway on Discord. And if you want to participate in more giveaways, you can also go ahead and check out the Discord for that reason. See you next time. Peace.